And the last audience question, Mr. Catlin, you start, and I'm going to read that question. It is, in your view, is the PUD well prepared to handle a major power disruption caused by wildfire? And you have 90 seconds to respond. I think they're as prepared as anybody. Some places that would uh, scare me are the uh, outlying up in Liberty and those type of places in Kanaway because of the timber and the um, forests and the people are living where we're delivering power to. I think we would have problems there. Um, I don't think we'd have as much problem from Clay Ellum uh, East, but those areas, Liberty and Kanaway are probably two high impact areas where wildfire would do a great deal of damage. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Keller here, the question is, in your view, is the PUD well prepared to handle a major power disruption caused by wildfire? And you have 90 seconds. Thanks, Catherine. I don't really feel qualified to answer that at this time. I'm not familiar with the tree trimming outline uh, along our lines. I, I will tell you that I have attended Kittitas PUD meetings, grant PUD meetings over the past 19 years. And in 2001 to 2008, uh, when I was regularly attending, um, the tree trimming budget was always the first thing to get cut, which made no sense to me. Uh, so as a commissioner, we're going to make tree trimming a priority. If it takes moving money from one, app, one account to another, to keep up on that tree trimming. I was very shocked. This was eight years ago, 10 years ago. Um, so I don't know what their policy is today. I haven't really examined it, but it would, tree trimming is of the highest priority to me as a, as a commissioner. And if we compete successfully for Rock Island Dam, we'll have a lot of money to trim trees. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kelleher, um, you go first for the closing statement and you have 60 seconds. Well, it's up to you. It's your county. I'm running for commissioner to compete for all of Kittitas County, the owners of Kittitas PUD for, so that we can pay less for electricity in Kittitas County. There's only one proven way to do that, and that's to own a dam on the Columbia. There is one left, Rock Island. Nobody told you, Wanapum, Priest Rapids, Wells, and Rocky Reach were getting relicensed. It was all a big secret. Well, we can compete, and I want your vote so that we can prepare to compete successfully for Rock Island Dam. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Catlin, you have 60 seconds to make your closing statement. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to meet and share my ideas. Being a lifelong resident of Kittitas County, I want what's best for a valley and with my experience as an electrician and business owner and also a PUD customer, I really do feel that I'd be an asset to the Board of Commissioners. I look forward to putting my experience and my expertise to work for the Kittitas County PUD. Thank you. I would like to thank Rick Catlin and Pat Kelleher for sharing their views and their willingness to serve as Public Utility Commissioner District in District 1. We want to thank our co-sponsor, the Ellensburg Daily Record newspaper, and Ellensburg Community Television, Spectrum Network, and Inland Networks for showing the forum videos throughout the voting season. Finally, thank you to the many League volunteers who make these events possible. To get more information about all candidates running in the 2020 general election, 
the Kittitas County League has created a nonpartisan online voters guide where you will find links to candidate websites and other helpful resources. You can also get information at vote411.org and at the Washington Secretary of State's office. Your vote matters. Join me by casting your ballot in the November 3rd general election. Thank you for joining us.